Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Flow. I have a new wig. This is the Cinch by Raquel Welsh and the color is Honey Ginger. I really like the color. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. I got one problem and that is these little hairs. These are associated, when you see those little hairs sticking up like that, those little short ones, they're associated with the permatease that's in, in the wig. And sometimes they just do that. But there's two ways that you can address it. One is with just a water bottle. I keep a spray bottle around just for that purpose. And the other thing that you can do is you can use wig spray. Wig spray helps it to stay down. I, there it goes again. I pretty much had it under control, but it still wants to do that. And it has something to do, there it is right there, you can see it. It has something to do with the permatease. So, uh, anyway, this is one of those wigs where it just does that. So, I'm going to turn it around and show you the back. There's the side view. See how it comes down in here? It's kind of low, longer in the front. There's the back. Look at that color. Isn't that a beautiful color? I think this is a very realistic looking wig. I love the color. And here's this side here. Again, it likes to come down. Now, I put this wig on and off several times and I'm still having trouble. You see how long this one comes down on this side? This one here, I'm having a little trouble with on that side. It, it doesn't want to stay down the same as that side. So, anyways, those are a couple of my problems with this wig, but overall, I really like the cinch. I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a good wig, and if you all you have to do is work with the alfalfa stuff <laughs> um, a little bit. And like I say, you use water and hairspray, and that should help you keep that under control for the most part. So anyways, I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to show you the inside. Don't be too shocked. I always worry about that. Okay. My hair is very, very thin. You can see how I'm losing it right here. It has nothing to do with the wigs. It's just what's going on. And I'm also, I have bald spots in the back as well. But anyway, I digress. Here is the inside of the wig. You can see that it does have quite a bit of lace. All of that is for the permatees. And then it has open weave there and open weave in the back. So this is going to be a nice fall wig. I wouldn't recommend this wig for summer because it's going to be a little bit warm. But for fall and winter, it's going to be nice. It does have the nice ear tabs and it does have the felt front. So... This is just a put it on and go type wig. There's not much styling other than trying to uh, tame the alfalfa look up there. So, but it's a pretty little wig. I really like it. I think it's really cute. I'm going to turn around and show it to you again. There's the side. There's the back. Lovely cut. I love the cut. The cut is just beautiful. I think this is really realistic, except for the alfalfa that just wants to keep sticking up. And sometimes in the winter, you'll get that too with static electricity. But this is a beautiful wig. This one is probably going to become one of my favorites, one of my go-to wigs, because I just like it. I like the way it looks. I love the color. The color is Honey Ginger by Raquel Welch. A beautiful color, 
It really works and I like it a lot. Um, Cinch is the name of the wig, Cinch by Raquel Welch. And I'll leave you a link to it below. Really, really pretty. I like it a lot. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about something else. I wanted to talk to you about a Bible verse, Romans 4.18. It says, against all hope, Abraham believed, and so became the father of many nations. Now, God had made Abraham a promise and said that he would be the father of many offspring, as many as the stars in the sky. But Abraham was fatherless. His wife was barren, and they were both like 90 years old and pretty much out of hope in their own right. <laughs> Have you ever had one of those days when nothing seems to go right, when everything is just falling apart? You go from not good not great, to bad, to even worse. When everything just seems hopeless. God knows. He knows about your situation. He knows about your heartache. He knows about your struggle. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to trust him to read his word for encouragement, to read his word. And when Abraham was fatherless and hopeless and 90 years old, he believed anyways. He believed anyways, despite how he felt. Remember, faith is not an emotion. It's not a feeling. Abraham maintained his faith and kept believing in the sovereignty of God, knowing that he's faithful to do what he says he's going to do. He will do what he promises. So stand on your faith. If you're going through one of those times when things go from not good to bad to worse, stand on your faith. Read the Bible. Pray. And when things get hopeless, remember, God sees everything. He knows your struggle. Focus on God and praising God rather than the problem. And remember that God is in control of all things. And that's my story for today. Focus on this guy. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.